All right, this is another sneak peek at yet another new feature we're adding to edit mode, um, and there's still more in the works. Um, but so thanks to Frederick, um, he made this all possible. He actually made a lot of changes um, to the OS to get this in. Um, but it's something I've kind of wanted to do for a while. It was actually in the original plan for edit mode, and now it's actually able to work. So I'm super excited. Um, so uh, basically, now edit mode is going to have a new edit blade length function. And just like it sounds, the idea is, you know, sometimes you have multiple NeoPixel blades and they're not all the exact same pixel count. Um, or sometimes maybe you get a new blade and you're not sure how many pixels um, are in it. Um, typically, you'd either have to have a separate blade ID resistor so that you can have separate configs for each, um, which works great. But if you get a new blade and it doesn't have the resistor, then you'd have to go in and you'd have to reflash your board just to change that length of that blade so that it works properly. Um, and on some effects it doesn't matter, but your tip drag, your melt, those type of effects, blade length come into play. So now, with edit mode, we have the ability to edit the length in real time on it. So you can have different blades, you can just plug the blade in. If it's not the right length, you just go into the menu, change the, change the length, save it. You can change to a short blade, you know, get the settings set down. You can pull in a longer blade. Um, now the way it's going to work is whatever... Uh, pixel count is in your original config when you do update the board that it becomes the max we can never do more pixels than what the board is, is set for um, so I've actually purposely set this saber up with a longer uh, pixel count than what this blade actually is just so I can demo it so let me go into edit mode and show so we'll go in so I'm in edit mode so let's I'm gonna let you guys hear the menu first and then we'll show it so I'm in blade length. So now blade length is set up. I'm going to put this back. So the way blade length is set up is this uses a modified style of the length finder. Um, and what it is is the tip of the blade should have a white flashing pixel. Um, so from the earlier demo, I had it in place. So I've now moved this past the length of this blade. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull down now. Uh, actually, let me show. So um, if you keep going, you can increase as much as the, the pixel count was set in the config. So if I get up too high. Maximum setting. So that's my maximum setting. So that's what I set for this saber as the original count. Now I can pull down. And what we're going to be looking for is a white flashing pixel, a single pixel at the tip. So now I've got that white flashing tip. That tells me that that's the actual blade length, and I could save it. But what I want to show, obviously, is what happens. You can come down. So say I have an even shorter blade. You would just keep rotating. And it's one pixel at a time. And I'm going to save that now. So now you can see the tip of my blade isn't isn't lit because now this is the new end of the blade that I've set. So say you have a uh, long blade you stick in and all of a sudden you notice the tip is dark. Um, that tells you that your blade length is wrong. So I'm going to go back into edit length. And you'll see again that white flashing pixel. The, it's getting a little washed out. But that that's the tip of my blade according to the saber. So I'm going to put that back up. And sometimes diffusion at the tip can make it hard to tell when you're there. So if you go too far, all of a sudden the flashing goes away. And that tells me, all right, I set it too high. I'm going to pull it back one. There's my flashing tip. That tells me that is now the new blade length, and I'll save it. Save. Select option. And now that's the blade length, and that's it. And now let me back out of the menu. Exit. So now you'll just easily be able to, you know, plug your blade in um, if you're... If you know that it's good, you're good, but if you're unsure if it's the right length, just go into the length finder. If you don't see that white pixel, that means that you got to pull the length down. If the full blade isn't lit, you're going to go in the length finder, extend the blade. Um, and again, the extension, the max, is whatever the original config said. Um, so for those of you who have a lot of blades or who plan to buy blades or replace blades in the future, you'll kind of set it at 144. That'll give you pretty much full range. Um, and then you'll be able to edit anywhere between one pixel and that max value. Um, so... 
and this will work anything more than a single pixel. So if you've got cross guard blades, if you've got, you know, even accents, although you wouldn't really change those, but if you wanted to shrink the accent um, size, you can do all that. So still uh, more testing, uh, but it's been working great. And again, big thanks to Frederick for all his help making this possible. But I'm really excited it's working. I think it's going to be a great feature. So uh, lots more to come. Hope you enjoy.